Evening. Hello. I'm here on a Monday. I don't know what to think. I don't know what I'm thinking about it. Why am I here on a Monday? I'm here on a Monday because I'm not going to be doing... Uh, I won't be on t on Friday or Saturday. Uh, for Christmas reasons. Obviously. <laughs> well, not obviously. But I am. That's the reason that I'm not going to be here on Friday and Saturday. It's not a great start to things. How are you doing tonight? Glad to see you. Uh, tonight we're going to play a strange little game called Tales from the Off-Peak City, Volume 1. Um, it's made by the same people or person who uh, made the Norwood Suite, a game we played a while back. Um, I don't know if you remember, a very strange sort of game where we were in a hotel and there was some musician uh, and we had to find out some stuff and get some things of his that some people were desperately interested in getting their hands on. Uh, and it was quite a good game, a bit strange. And so this game's probably more of the same sort of stuff, to be honest. A bit strange. But we'll, uh, well, you'll see, we'll get to it. We'll get to it in just a short wee while. I'll tell you something I did see that I was quite interested in. Um, I watched a thing earlier. In fact, I'm going to put this background music off for just now. Uh, I watched a, a, I caught a video earlier. It was like old um, adverts for like toys and stuff like that. And I heard a fantastic song on an advert that I would not have expected to be the one that I'd have heard a fantastic song on, to be quite honest. Um, <laughs> you'll, see what, you'll see what I mean in just one second. Let me just uh, bring up the window. I'm hoping I've not like extremely oversized this. I probably have. Let me see. That's not, not, so you're dead now, what isn't, isn't what I was looking at. But pretty much what I am looking at is an advert, well you'll see it. The content of the advert itself isn't particularly exciting, however after the Subutio advert, wait until you hear the, the music. Hello Lynn, how are you doing? Listen to the music on this Hornby train set advert, it's brilliant. That's a brilliant song. It's a great wee song. Like, I was just looking through it and I was like, that's actually a really good song <laughs> for like an 80s sort of period advert. I don't know if you would put your train set together like that, I have no idea. They should have built the bridge a little earlier though. I'm doing pretty well, yeah, I'm having a good day. Um, managed to get the, the cats out and about without any... Oh, this is on like a playlist, that's the same advert. Uh, they're doing okay, yeah. Both of them. It was uh, they were out for their um, for their sort of regular, you know, their normal sort of vaccinations or whatever today, uh, and they were both pretty happy. They were both pretty good. So um, yeah, uh, it was pretty good, really. Can't complain too much. They were they were happy enough. They weren't uh, they weren't too kind of fussy, you know. They were they were quite happy to 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 for the vet to have a look at them as well, which was good. Uh, so yeah, uh, not not cheap to to get these things done, but I suppose you kind of have to, especially if you want them to 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 get to go outside at some point, you know, uh, at some point in the future. The only thing is, I'm worried there's a lot of cats in the area. They might not uh, take too well to some new cats. I'm not sure, <laughs> but who knows? We'll worry about that, I guess, when the time comes. Um, but yeah, they're doing good. They're they're happy enough. Um, I think they might be sleeping just now. Uh, the life of a kitten, eh? you can sleep most of the day, run and jump around. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. So we're going to play this game. Uh, as I say, um, there was some other stuff I looked at before, but I was looking at as well that was interesting. Uh, mostly just other old adverts and things. I'll maybe look at some more of that at some point. But no, they're doing good. They're doing good. So shall we get on with this game, maybe? Eventually I'm going to start a game. <laughs> this game probably won't be for the length of the stream, so there's a good chance we'll play some other stuff. Um, unfortunately with this game, it doesn't have a title screen. It just immediately starts. So what I need to do... The audio on the game is a bit loud if I turn it up all the way, so let's just put it to about there. And then I'm going to hit new game so we don't miss anything. Yes, please. And we'll start all over again. Please stand by. Hopefully it's coming up on the screen okay for you. Just make sure. 
good it is. You just get this straight away. Oh, you managed to do it then. Well, that's good. Was that with the ball thing you were making, was it? Well, you woke up just in time. But before we go any further, I need to know one thing. What's your name, anyway? Uh, can I type it, or do I have to... I have to press the buttons. Is, is there going to be enough room? That's really annoying. Why couldn't I just type it? Cool. That's my name. Yeah. You won't find this place on any maps, Super Notus. That's alright, Dadas. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Hope you're getting on alright. Two of... Alright, number two of twenty. So what did you have to do? Was it... Was the tension the problem, or did you have to kind of adjust the stuff? But in time, you'll come to know the corner of July Avenue and Yam Street like few others do. Look around with the mouse or joystick. There we go. We can use a controller for this. I will do this. Very nice. What else can we do? Is that it? Okay, I've looked around. Do I have to look around everywhere? Oh, there we go. I'll have many assignments for you, Supernautus. And for this first one, I require you to steal a valuable musical instrument. That's not very nice. I've just met you. It's an old saxophone, the prized possession of Caetano Grosso, former musician and current owner of the pizza restaurant on the corner up ahead. I don't know why I'm doing that voice. Caetano needs an assistant, so I thought, hey, here's the perfect opportunity to prove your worth to us. Start with it loose. Right, okay, so it kind of pops up into the right, the right kind of way. That there letter of recommendation will make Caetano think you're overqualified to work at his restaurant. I got a letter of recommendation. Caetano was an incredible sax player in his day, world class. He even played with the great Peter Norwood for a while. That's uh, from the Norwood suite that we played before. But nowadays Caetano just holds up in his pizza shop. Making his pies all day. There are rumours, Supernauta, something's not right about Caetano. That's a terrible accent. Something's not right about him. You say something, Pops. Anyway, here's a picture of the sax for reference. Do whatever it takes to get it. Well, I'll try. I can't make any guarantees, but I'll try. At the very least, working for Caetano will give you an inside angle on his operation. Once you retrieve the sax, we'll find you. We need the money, and the sax is worth a small fortune in this market. Besides, Pop's medical bills aren't going to pay themselves, eh? I've got 17 whole dollars. Fantastic. So it's a kind of a mixture of pressure, I suppose, you needed to have on there. Here's some cash. You'll probably want to buy a few things while you're here. And one last thing. Good luck. We believe in you. We believe in you. All right, guys. Cheers. Can I turn that music off now? I just walked out of the boat. Look, there's like a there's like a gap there that we can just walk through. I'll have many assignments for you, and for this first one, yeah, okay, you said that already. There's a car in the water. I, I think that might be just a little bit too loud, if I'm honest. That might be just a little bit too loud. I don't, not a new game, no. <laughs> Right, so what's this? I found some more money at least. Two dollars. Two dollars. You can use drop in conversations or interrupt them. So here's a conversation. So, Big Mo, should I call the towing service? Yeah, this car's been here for years. Now I want to miss it. And the owner? Wheeled off last week. Third extraction this month, Big Mo. This neighborhood's really, uh, I can't even keep up with what they're saying. Building 9, overcapacity. Building 9's problems are not mine. So I got nosy tenants. I feel like my character is a weird size. Do I know you? Who's this? A new face. Look at this guy's head face. Who is this character? Who are these people? Should I give this stranger here a proper newcomer's welcome? Perhaps a trip to the factory for a little meet and greet. What's that going to be about? Brain Sonatas, Peter Norwood and... Oh, that's Caetano Grosso. Save it. I know why you're here. I saw the help wanted sign in Caetano's window. Even if Katano does take you on, that doesn't mean you get to stick your face in places it doesn't belong. This guy's head's like a weird weird size for his body. 
Are you like the police or something? Oh, come on, let me welcome the stranger, Big Mo. Yeah, let's do this the easy way. Not so fast, boys. Worked hard to keep this neighborhood under the radar. Don't cause a stir and we'll get along just fine. You're in my part of town now. All right, mate, settle down. Look at these cars. Look like they're made of crap. What's this? Stoop sail. So that's a sail on somebody's porch or something, right? What's this? T a turtle shell. Tortoise shell. It's a shell of some kind. So we've got all these buildings on the street. Oh, there's the place there, I guess, because that's the big pizza. It's like a pizza falling into a black hole. Okay, so I can't jump. We can just walk about. There's a wee car. That guy's got a weird shaped... Everyone else looks relatively normal. I say normal. Stoop sail, stoop sail. It's a building talking to me. It's true. I've got a little sail going on here. All this stuff, I just don't need it anymore. And the camera over there is on sale. You can buy anything here if you have the cash. Got the cash? Yeah, all right. Oh, don't you mind building 35? He always gets excited when visitors come around. Visitors. Pizza. Thing is, we don't get as many visitors since the flood in. But Kitano's a local celebrity. Kitano Pizza Saxophone. That's right, 35. You and I have been here long enough to remember Kitano before he made pizza. Before Norwood discovered him, even. Norwood Noisy. <laughs> We'd see Kitano down at Zucchini's bar every Thursday. The place was packed, dancing in the aisles. No wonder he was Norwood's favourite. Supreme sounds. <laughs> but these days I hear something else coming from Norwood's apartment above the pizzeria. What do you hear? Can't put my finger on it, 35. Always late. Late at night. A real ruckus. I asked Kitano about it not long ago. Just the mild concerns of neighbourhood, that's all. What did he say? Well, he just stared into the distance and told me... Learning is a spiral staircase. The higher you go, the more you come round to the same problems. But you're at a higher level with them. I asked him if he was referring to his music, his pizza making, something else. He just smiled and told me to get some earplugs when things got loud. Just like old days, he said. Like the old days. <sighs> Was that it? That the whole conversation. So how much is this? A bone xylophone. Don't have enough money for a bone xylophone. Don't get many visitors since the flood in. A hat from another time. That's Norwood's hat from the last game. Did he already say this? Can't, yeah, you did. Right, I can buy the old camera. I guess that's, that, that's important. I can't buy the eyeball of the space lion. I really wanted the eyeball of the space lion. The camera comes with custom film. Take my picture. How do I take a picture? You've had plenty of demolition experts take pictures of you. Nice. Stop it. I've heard there's other film rolls out there for you to mess with. Different styles of film. Different styles of film. Yeah, it's a little more interactive. There's a few more bits and pieces. It's kind of like an adventure sort of thing. Uh, but they're kind of strange. See if you can find all the different film rolls out there. Find the film. It's kind of an adventure game. You have to kind of collect items and do a bit more. Definitely a bit more than that other game. Uh, it's not particularly long, I don't think, either. It's... What's this? Pizza Between Lovers. What? What's that? Is that not the symbol on their hats? It's like the police thing. Oh, look at this. Yeah, there's a few strange things all over this kind of place to, to get used to. Those are some interesting glasses he's got on. July Avenue and Yam Street. What do we have here? Four or five. Banana. Skull Eye. Is that is that important? We've got a rope stopping us from going under. Smoked salmon and hot horseradish? That sounds like an odd combination, to be honest. <laughs> it does sound like a strange combination. Uh, let's just see what these people are up to. Used to catch ten of these big tunas before dawn. What happened to me? I'll take your word for it. <laughs> they say I'll say they'd repopulate the fish supply. 
Look, worm gummies. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of fish, to be honest. Factory's still active. Hey, are you here from City Hall by chance? What's your arm doing out like that? What are you doing? What is this? Look at his head. Hey, man. <laughs> but you know, if it tastes alright, that's good. What is up with that guy? Look. Are you here from City Hall? No. Have you come for the stoop sales? Stoop sales always attract outsiders. I saw Dave set it up this morning, right up the stairs and down the street towards the flood inn. I feel like this guy has to have a really frantic sort of voice. Say, uh, City Hall was going to do something about that flooding, yeah? My buddy here thinks City Hall could solve all his fishing problems. Some woman Joe Troy promised a trout repopulation. Where is it, hmm? After the last flood, hundreds of trout spilled out onto Yam Street. He's got, like, constant nervous energy, I feel like, this guy. Joe Troy made a promise two years ago, man. Man? She's the inspectors over here, but now, radio silence. Maybe they finally had the pleasure of meeting Big Mo. Big Mo. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd seen, because I quite like, you know, as I say, not really the fish, but I do quite like a bit of horseradish from time to time, a bit of that from time to time. The flavor of it, at least. And across Big Mo, stranger. Maybe he should repopulate the trout himself. Yeah, but for what price? That's, that's, uh... It's quite surprising, isn't it? Because you'd think it's quite a different flavour, you know. As I say, I learned long ago to steer clear from anything to do with him or Human Resource Horizons. Human Resource Horizons? Who's that? Shh! Keep your voice down. Big Mo might be listening to us right now. I'll assume the risk. Big Mo's watching, stranger. Is he always watching? Um, nice day to fish. Um... <clears throat> Okay, nice day to fit. There's nobody watching us. Big Mo's like down the street. Anyway, can I have your worm gummies? Worm gummies added to my pizza station. <laughs> well, I'm going to be making worm gummy pizzas. I haven't even, I haven't even got the pizza job yet. Already, I'm adding stuff. What's over here? Already, I'm adding stuff to my pizza station. What are these guys doing? Swim in. You all right, guys? You guys okay? I guess they're alright. I hope they're alright. That's the pizza shop. We'll go and have a look at that in a second. We won't go to the other side of the bridge just yet. Is that like some sort of... I feel like that's some sort of p police force or something. Yeah, that's it. That's... What the fuck? That's a big dog. Clifford the big stone dog. Alright, Clifford the big stone dog. No? Jellyfish riding a cow. Giant jar of blue moose. That's for rent. Alright, pal. That is a strange looking person. <laughs> I've been living in this neighbourhood since 87. I worked at the big Human Resource Horizons Research and Manufacturing Centre across the street. That is a mouthful to say, by the way. Some people just call it the factory. Mainly just security at one of its three hidden gates, punching people in and out. It probably isn't a good sign of welfare, no. Oh, where have they gone? Oh, they are still there. Especially if they're just doing it forever. For a while, it seemed like HRH employed this entire neighbourhood. What, the Queen employed this neighbourhood? The Queen employed this neighbourhood, apparently. Is that a job, do you think? Floating, fa floating face down in the river? In the canal, is it? Is it canal? <laughs> it is, isn't it? I never saw what they did inside. No one ever told me, and I never asked. They did seem proud of their work, though. <laughs> and one day, we all got a memo that we'd been retired with full benefits. Well, I was going to say, um, in fact, with, with horseradish, I've seen something, is it... I think with with wasabi, a lot of the a lot of the time, what we think of what we thinks was or what we get as wasabi is basically just horseradish with with like dye in it, isn't it? One day we all got a memo that we were being retired with full benefits. 
I had ten years left before I could claim those kinds of benefits. But hey, I couldn't say no to an easy life of early retirement. Call me lazy. I don't know what the big difference in flavour would be, but... Who knows? And from my comfy perch, I've seen what this neighbourhood has become. Something has to be done about it. I'm changing my accent every two seconds. Something has to be done about it. There's a lot of unfinished business here. Not why I've given her, given her that accent. A lot of secrets well kept. Dot's still unconnected. We have plans for you, super not... Wait, what? You have plans for me? You don't even know me. They've got plans for me already and I've barely even been here. We can cross the road to Paolo's pawn shop. It's got an actual chess pawn outside it. After have to admit, Oh, hello. What's this? Beluga roll added to my pizza station. So it looks like there's some pizza ingredients around. I don't know if I'd want um, caviar on a pizza. Stoop sale. Can't take it. Yam Street. It's this street here. Stoop sale. Anyway, this is the place where this guy works. So let's have a look around first. Kitano's slice menu. 16 inch pizza made to order, $40. $40 for a pizza and a Blue Moose Energy Drink, $5. Today's ingredients, pepperoni, mushroom, basil, and sliced moz. Probably mozzarella, I assume. Perhaps it's not a sliced mosquito or something. Why have they got, I don't know. That nose is clearly stuck on with something. We music thing there. I quite like like mustard in like a, you sometimes get like a sort of cheese toasty sort of thing with a mustard kind of sauce, you know. Not a big fan of the mustard you get on like burgers and things. Who's this? Well, I won't talk to it. As you can see, we serve a variety of slices for all appetites and tastes. Ah, uh, we? Oui? I'd like to think I've earned the right to say we, oui, given how much I come around here. So you don't actually work here. Fat chance, kid. There's no we at this place. Only me. Here we go again. Yeah, I quite like the kind of kick of it from time to time, you know. I serve a variety of slices, but it's morning and I'm just getting started. And you don't want any of these day old slices. Yesterday's pies will make money, Maxine. Not everything has to be all fresh all the time. Give uh, Kitano two minutes and he'll give you the gift of a fresh pie. Maxine, you need to build up a tolerance to affordable ingredients. You mean cheap ingredients? Buy Penter Maca... Mashikos? Makashos? I don't know. This girl... My father brought me here every day, Kitano. I've learned a thing or two about making pizza. Your father was probably keeping tabs on me. I wonder where he is now. Hey, how about Francis and his band last night? Weren't they good? I'll ignore the spelling mistake. Noise! And they're late picking up their equipment as usual. Francis really gave it his all last night. You better not forget to pay him. Well, I... And... Not with pizza. Cash this time. They bought in a real crowd this time. It's terrible. My usual Saturday evening rush. No excuses, Katano. You were a musician once. You must know how it is for them. It is weird, isn't it? It is, it is odd that they would call a pizza... I always think it's odd when I hear pizza pie, you know. All too well, Maxine. Tell you what, I'll pay everyone in cash and pizza. How's that sound? Francis only eats gluten free. Got anything gluten free? I think garlic knots. Oh, please. And about that help wanted sign outside. You're going to harm me or what? We both know you just aren't ready, Maxine. She isn't ready to work at a pizza restaurant. What about those pizza crust samples I gave you? 
those were fine. But your father, he tells me you're difficult at home. So what? How do I know you're not going to be difficult behind the counter here? You're really going to believe what my father tells you all about me. And that crowd your boyfriend's band brought in last night. Jumping on tables, throwing plates, not like the crowds I used to play for. So what's it going to take, eh? Time, Maxine. I'm not going to wait till I'm a spinster to work for you, Kitano. He'll be dead by then, <laughs> I think. I'm not calling you a spinster. You think you know me? Well, it doesn't seem like you're here to order pizza, so why are you here? Are you looking to get fed or get down to business? What do you mean by that? Uh, use tab or that to open my inventory and select the appropriate item. Yeah, I'd like to steal this saxophone, please. It's nothing. Not sure why you brought that picture here. That's the wrong item, I know. He wasn't interested in the fact that I was here to steal his saxophone. A letter of recommendation? That's not what... A letter of recommendation? Let me see that. There we go. To whom it may concern... Blah, blah, consummate professional, easy disposition, strong handshake, willing to work late, whatever, whatever. This reads like any old boilerplate letter. Nice paper texture, though. It's going to be like, a, it looks like graph paper. That letter's bogus, Supernotus, or whatever your name is. How do you know? So, you finally going to hire me, Katano. Supernotus here is a big phony. A big f uh, phony. Now you, Supernotus, you're perfect for everything. Yes, it's all crystal clear. To start, my supply of sauce needs to be refilled, and there's a jar of it in the basement. I got his basement key. If you could, if you could bring up a jar of sauce from down there, that'll get us started. This could be me, Katano, hauling sauce jars, chopping onions. For all we know, Supernotus is up to something. Just you shut up. I'm not trying to steal the saxophone, all right? You want to be an assistant, Maxine? If Supernotus needs any help, you'll provide it, right? Oh, fine. You'll be helping me by helping Supernotus, Maxine. This work is better suited for someone with no personal ties to the neighbourhood. What, picking up pizza sauce? You'll understand soon enough. Patience, Maxine. Give me a break. Right, so I've got to go and get sauce out of the basement now. So, oh yeah, there we go. And then we do that to open the door. Was that like the other game, I think? We need another key for that door. Right, so what are we looking at? Microtonal ecstasy. Shape and flow. The music of Peter Norwood. That's the sauce. Jar of marinara sauce. I almost thought it said a jar of marijuana sauce. There he is, Luke. There's the saxophone. Okay, no. A jar of marijuana sauce. Can't get in there either just now. So we need to find a variety of stuff that'll let us get where we're going. Right, listen pal, here's your sauce. Take it and pour it into the vat on his right. That's great to know his sauce comes out of a vat. There we go. We've replaced the sauce. This looks like blood or something. Very good. Now, your next step is to actually commit to making the pie itself. The order computer to my right will provide you with your first order. This thing here, right? To your right? Oh yeah, because he's facing me, so yeah. What have we got? Click on your first order to make a dough appear on the board. Study the form, embrace the formation. The dough on the counter is calling your name. Dough. So we have to make pizzas. No worries, thank you very much for dropping in. Good to see you as always. Have a good night. Uh, right, now what? Sprinkle ingredients till you're satisfied. Well, I need sauce around the end edge. Have a good night. Splodges of sauce around the edge of the pizza. I like the little musical kind of bursts. 
Should I need to cover this with, with sauce, surely? This is not the most even uh, preparation of a pizza, to be honest. I might have, it might have over, I've overdone it a bit there, look. Is that too much sauce, do you think? <laughs> In places, I think that's too much sauce. Press hold the green button for one second if you're satisfied. Well, that'll be enough. Hopefully. Where's it going? They, what was that? What was this? A rock with, with tiny cows on it, look, and they're watching the pizza. Do we not need to put anything else on here? Is this just a tomato sauce pizza? A marinara sauce pizza with no toppings? Is that all we wanted to do? Just a tomato sauce pizza? No cheese or anything? Because that's... That's not a very good pizza. Aye. I don't mind it with the sauce. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. There was no... It didn't give me the option to put any cheese on or anything. So was that right? Was that what he wanted? Just look at that pizza go, Supernautus. Yeah, but that's a rubbish pizza. An impressive pie, I must say. Cheeseless pizza, even. Very bold. I see you've poured practically the entire sauce vat on there. <laughs> but Luke says he needs more tomato tomatoes in his diet. Tomatoes, but he's, he's English, I'm giving him an accent. So, anyway, about this automation system, I had the great Conrad Beelzebub install it himself. Conrad Beelzebub. Worth every penny. Sure, what am I doing with this? I think it's time for your first delivery. 47 Yam Street, top floor. Old Professor Lucas Belmont, a real steady. Prefers his pizza for breakfast, and it looks like you made him a proper breakfast pie. I'm not sure, would you want just that for breakfast? And, um, you didn't put any mushroom on the pizza, so... Don't know what to say. Whatever, he'll tip you real good with or without the mushroom. <laughs> if you're ever unsure where you're delivering pizza to. The pizza box itself will tell you. What will it like? Talk to me. Just don't dawdle, big day ahead. I'll try not to stay too long at the apartment. So how could I change toppings? There are certain things Lucas probably doesn't want you to see. Good luck. I guess I can click on the toppings. So what number was that? 47 Yam Street. 47, top floor. What numbers are we on this side? 35, 39. So it must be this way. But that's... Oh, July Avenue's across the way. Okay. No, because that's... Okay. Uh, 41, 45. What did we say it was? 47. So, not that one. The next one. we got to go and deliver a pizza. Look at this fucking train. Does someone not think it might be a good idea to get rid of that... To get rid of that train? What the fuck's going on over there? Look at this. Why is there a load of cats swinging their tails in the window? <laughs> Alright guys. Blue sardines. Blue sardines? Look at these cats just napping away. They're pretty big cats. Not as big as those ones, but yeah, this game is strange. These The games from this person are very odd. That train, that's just a concern. Right, so top floor. Look at these. They're like... Yeah, we can't open any of the other doors just yet. So top floor. Yeah, there's a couple of games by this person. I've played um, one of them on stream before, and I've got another one that I played as well. Um, both very strange games. What's up with this house? I'm a little scared to go in there. I hope I never have to go in there. Is this the top floor? This is the top floor. There's only one door left. Hello? Pizza? Let me just take a quick look around. What's happening in here? Which one? Ah, delivery. Y yeah. It's finally here, Barkley. Superdosis, is it Katara said you'd be coming with a delivery? 
Why is there a baby version of you inside that, inside that cot? Usually he sounds like old Maxine, but her father and I... Hey Lucifer, just go ahead and put that pizza down on the coffee table here. Yeah, alright. My students tell me eating pizza for breakfast is bad for me. Yeah, well, this pizza will be horrible. Who really cares, Barkley, like they should talk. Pizza is pizza for any time of the day, right little guy? I think the university got me this place, but it's been so long. And I gotta say, this neighbourhood has really been through the ringer. Dozens of shops come and gone, business owners' dreams dashed so many times over. And did you see the way they built what they built in front of the old church? A travesty. And yet Catano's pizza remains the mainstay. It's not even great pizza by a wide mile. Canned ingredients, pasty sauce, not even a gluten-free option. But there's something about it that's comfortable. It makes me feel good, it makes me feel a lot of things. Frankly, I can't get enough of it. Right. Fair enough. What's this? A dice. Can't go in there. There's a piano. A lot of books. Slaw bags. Slow casual cas causality. Saxophone dreams three. Quasars and you. Tremble bugs. Treehouse planet. Tantalize the swan. Tantalize a swan. Ducking out for a donut. That's a good name for a book. Inward outward tilt. On love and permafrost. Okay. What's that poster got on it? It's more Peter Norwood stuff. What's this? Am I supposed to be looking at this? Probably not. Bicycle violations. Interesting. Am I alright just to wander about your house for a wee while? What are you watching on TV? Waveforms. <laughs> Jeff is missing. That's a cool looking book. Ah, Jeff! So many questions, so few answers. Perhaps a walk in the woods will settle things out between us. That was the last message left for him. Or was it? It's an interesting book cover. I like the cover on that book. That's really cool. Close the drawer. I'm just going to check your other drawer before I give you your pizza, mate. Imagine. It's a death note. Disorders of a higher order. Is this a death note? Have you got a death note in that drawer, mate? Right. Okay, I'll give you your pizza now. It's going to be rubbish. I'm sorry. At last, my morning meal. Let's see what's in this box, eh? Pizza for breakfast every day, Barkley. Is that is that tomato or if I just put... No, it is tomato. On certain days, pizza needs a sauce bath. Clearly, this is one of those days, <laughs> Supernotis, you understand. Maybe it's for the best that you didn't put any pepperoni on this pie. Doctor's orders. There'll be no mushrooms entering my mouth today. A relief, in fact. A cheeseless pie is like an orchestra. An, an orchestra. An orchestra without the violins. But sometimes, Barkley, the violins aren't needed in the first place. No, I think you need cheese on a pizza, to be honest. I love it, Super Daughters. For your hard work, I want to give you something. You're going to give me $15. That's the money I spent on that camera. As for this pizza here, dear pizza, I want you to eat my mouth. Pizza going into space. Where's he gone? Where did he go? They're all gone. Did you go? To, did you go to bed? Hello. He's got two pianos. I mean, you know, if you want two pianos, why not? Oh, hey, chocolate chips. That's what we want. That's like an energy drink, but that's a massive container for an energy... What the fuck is going on here? Eggs. Keeping eggs in the freezer. Sorry, I can't close your freezer now. Uh, where are you anyway, mate? He's just gone. What is that? Oh, we can peep around his house because he's disappeared. <laughs> he's watching, like, waves? It's very odd. What does this thing do? We can buy one of them. Maybe we should. That's a mirror. Okay, well he's gone, so anything in the oven? No. I guess we go back. Oh, there he is, look. Sleeping in a bath full of energy drink. <laughs> Just gonna take your bedroom key, mate. Don't mind me. <laughs> what the hell? This guy. 
Oh, there's Norwood. That's the guy from, as I say, the last game. What's this thing? 824... I don't know. One for him and one for the baby thing? What in the world is going on? I'm on the roof. Anything on the roof worth having? Oh yeah, look. Apotheosis film. What do I use the film for? So what does this do? Like if I take a picture of... How do I take a picture? Oh, I was taking a picture. Oops. What's that do? Oh, focus. And just the focus a bit. This is interesting. Zoom in. That's a really good zoom. Uh, that's just adjusting the focal distance. How do we adjust the shutter speed? Shift. A nice... Uh... Can we look at the photos? How do we see the photos that we've taken? Container to store old photos. Just some slight movement in that photo. Okay. Right, well, we got what we came here for, so let's get out of here. Wait. No, that's not where I want to go, is it? What happens if I go down there? Ah! Wee! <laughs> it's a big slide. Where's the big slide going to take me? I found a big slide. I'm not sure I want to know where I'm going with this big slide. Maybe it's just a quicker way to get out of the building. It's what you want to get out of your house. Norwood. Sequences number one to six. What's up there? Ah, look. Another film reel. <laughs> Malm film. Shall we, see what that, shall we see what that does? Does it actually do anything different? Turns the film, the picture all kind of purple like that. Okay, that's interesting. Can I get out of that? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's a very, it's a very odd game. The, the, the kind of series is really. Can I open this door. No. Nope. Wait, can I get out of here? Or am I stuck? Oh, okay, that opens the gate. And there's that dog. What's this say on it? Vacate! Do not enter! Okay. Got another building with a face. Hello? Do you talk? No. This building doesn't talk. Pawn shop. What in the world is going on in here? A jade trout. The broken nose of a bust from antiquity. We can replace the nose of the other one, maybe. A bull skull horn handle. Can't afford any of this. Flamingo meat. Okay. Do we really want to cook flamingos? Oh, I see. Well, luckily, if it's got green floating above it, then we can get it. If it's not, then we can't. Pick the right time to drop in. If you can afford something on my shelf, go ahead and buy it. Can I know the pizza spot across the canal? He asked me to sell off some of his stuff on consignment. It's good stuff, practical. I asked him why he's selling it. He said, the truth hides in plain sight, whatever that means. Anyway, you look like you have some cash on you, so... Katano and I, we go way back. He opened his pizzeria not long after I opened my pawn shop here. He was a musician before that, an incredible player, really. I'll never forget his playing in Norwood's ensemble. Norwood gets a bad rap for the way he treated his musicians, but he took exception to Kitano. He took exception to Kitano. I don't think that's I don't think that's written right. I think probably he made an exception with Kitano, not he took exception to him. <laughs> Norwood even investigated in his, invested in his pizza place. Maybe he thought it would fail and Kitano would lose interest in pizza. Then they could go back on the road together. But life takes us in unexpected directions, Supernatus. Katano's sacks, I still think about that one. He'd like to sell that. Smoother than butter on a chocolate chip muffin. More melodically elastic than fresh pooled noodles. Didn't hurt that the craftsmanship is peerless, solid gold with a ruby encrusted mouthpiece. 
I've asked Catano to let me sell it for him multiple times. Of course he's refused every offer. He says he'll never touch the sax again, and I can respect the sentimental value. To go along with the real-world value, of course. Musicians are funny the way they let their emotions guide their life decisions. And Catano was no exception in that regard. Aye. You know, Catano's married, had a wife named Jan and a daughter Clarice. No worries, see you shortly. Not long after he got into the pizza business, they left him, abruptly. I once asked him about it and he just smiled and said nothing, I didn't push it. Nobody else can go there with Catano, but us business owners, we stick together. We're like brothers. I can be honest with him to his face, they still won't take any of my advice. He is who he is, and had a vision and he went for it, even if it cost him. Crazy idiot, but takes one to no one, eh? That's the conversation. Uh, let's take this uh, flamingo meat, even though it means losing some money. I assume we have to pick up all the things eventually. So, I don't know, I was going to say there's some crates and there's some other stuff that may let us cross the water. But I want to see what's lying about down here on this side of the river. The canal, sorry. Um, just so I can see if there's anyone to talk to over here. Oh, look. Truth peppers. That's what we want. I don't know if truth peppers are a good thing, but they've been added to our pizza station. That building's fallen over. What is this? Some fish. Some tiles. Fish tiles. And we've got a tap. Is that for the canal? It's a roulette wheel! What happens if I stand on it? Well, I can't stand on it. Okay. It's a giant roulette wheel. And is that like a craps thing? Or no, that's a roulette. Everyone's put their cars on, well, a variety of tiles, slots, whatever. Oh, there's something on the ground there. Another film. Keep out authorised personnel only. All deliveries to Building 9 shall be made face to face. Tomb film. Let's have a look and see what that does. What's that one? Oh, that's the standard film. What's this one? That does that. We've got this uh, shutter speed adjusted. And what about the this one? That makes it kind of pink with a hazy effect. Okay, very good. Get out of that. So now we know what the variety of film does. Let's go back to the pizza place, I guess. They're chatting about fishing again. Those people aren't chatting about anything, they're just swimming along. Come well, on, let's go back. Why is there an ambulance here? Don't like what I see over there, Supernotus. Something's up, if you ask me. One minute Katano's standing at the counter like usual, staring into that monitor, oblivious. The next thing I hear, this loud crash. He's on the floor, face pale, clammy hands. That's not even a real ambulance. The Human Resource Horizons logo? But hey, this is a remote part of the city, Supernotus. As long as they know the way to the hospital, right? I thought I could handle this sort of work, but with Katano gone. And we still got pizza orders coming in. I know I should relax, Supernotus. Katano said keep the place running. But still, help. Yeah, Alright, I'll help. Please avoid causing any unnecessary distress. Right. He's not reacting to me. This... There you are. It's all as I suspected. The time has come, Supernotus. The store is yours now. What? When the calls come in, the ingredients are all there, and you can get more. And I left something for you. Shit, what did that say? By the cooking station. Just keep the pizza place running, you didn't see any of this. And don't play into anyone's plans. You're your own person, Supernotus. Make the pizzas your way. What, just loads of sauce and nothing else? Jan, Clarice, once they know the truth, they'll come back. The pay now. Right, by then. Looks like he's been taken away to his death. And what are you up to? What a mess on a Sunday, no less. Aye, all right. So we need to find a way to get his saxophone at some point. What do you leave? 
the upstairs key. Before we before we look at any orders, let's see about this upstairs key. There we go. Oh, look at this. Does that door open? No. So we need another key for that. What is this? It's a tomato-shaped speaker. Oh, and there's a secret room. With a guy playing a saxophone on top of a car while a lady stands by with a cow. There's a moon button. What's the moon button for? Then we got lions with like weird things on their faces. That's what we need the nose for. Okay, so we need the nose for that. We know where it is, but we can't afford it just yet. And I can't go in this room yet. Well, okay, so we know something we need to get. We know we need to get that nose. I guess we probably need to do more orders. Oh, and this door opens. This takes us out the back. Next to Clifford, the big stone dog. He's growling there. I'm sure he wasn't growling before. Anyway, we got any orders? Now, right, what we got here? We must as always do it right in the chest. Do we know what he wants on this pizza? Right in the chest. He wants this pizza right in the chest. There we go. What do we have? Uh, truth peppers. Right, so we want the pizza sauce first of all, right? Pizza sauce first. What kind of pizza are we going to make this person? He just says right in the chest. He doesn't have any specific... Does that mean he wants something spicy? <laughs> Just put a little bit there, just some finishing touches around the edge. Let's make sure we put some actual toppings on this pizza today. <laughs> That's alright, right. Is that the cheese? Fresh mozzarella. There we go, what else do we have? Basil, uh, some pepperoni. I don't know if he's going to want this pizza after all that. Uh, mushroom chocolate. I don't think we want chocolate on it. Flamingo meat. Blue sardines. Some truth peppers. There we go. What else do we have? Beluga roll and worm gummies. Is he wanting something? Yeah, do you know what? We're going to put some worm gummies on this pizza. And there you go. That doesn't look like a doesn't look like a nice pizza to be honest, but we'll see how it goes. What do the cows think? They're not that interested. All right, cows. Strange pictures to have in as well. Okay, so we actually put toppings on that pizza this time. I wonder if the cheese will melt properly, or if it'll just sit there, slightly darker in colour. I guess we'll find out. Pizza construction in progress. So it doesn't really melt, it just kind of... Nice. The warm gummies are like rotating. Need to fill that again at some point. Bringing the pizza over, it's just going to drop it straight on top. Murga's Pizza, where does Murga live? 14 July Avenue. So there's a lot of pizza delivery, and then we get the money, I guess, to do the various things that need done. 17 July Avenue. So the July Avenue is that road crossing. That's 16. That's 18. Must be on the other side of the water then, surely. No? That's 9. 14, 10. So it must be on the other, it must be on this side of the water then, right? Surely. Look at that big face on the wall. I don't like it. 
17, wait, 17 is this address, 14 July Avenue, sorry, <laughs> 18, 16, 14's over there, I don't know why, but for some reason I thought we were delivering the pizza to ourselves. So it's a strange game with strange stuff going on, but I quite like, th is that the right address? 14. Fuck is this place? Cover your mouth, stranger. The Blue Moose Energy Drink Company mixes their experimental flavors here. Yeah, a lot of freaky chemicals just floating around. Don't mind us. We're just enjoying our morning in this uh, lobby. Cur Curtis, maybe we should go get some pizza after our meeting. What meeting? Right. No meetings. Nothing like that. Just pizza in an hour. Yourself two, Eric. Two hours. Two more hours we've got to wait for. Yeah, two hours, then we can get pizza. Is this really going to work, Curtis? Is Muriel really going to meet with us? Come on, keep your voice down, okay? Oh, I didn't say anything. Alright. Whatever, you guys. Whatever. Anything interesting in here? There's a lot of random music all over the place from time to time. I don't know who's. Cirque. Cirque de Soleil. Cirque. And there's a unicycle there. Sweet 2. So. Like it says he's at number 14. Oh, Sweet 4, okay. The piano's everywhere. Sweet 3. What are you looking at? Alright, oh, okay. Slamming the door on my face. Hello, I'm here with your pizza. Fuck is that? Is he making soup? What is this? Has he got big pools of boiling stuff for? Blue moose. Oh, this is where they make all this blue moose stuff. Ah, good, time for a pizza break. Are you Kitano's esteemed new lackey? Welcome to the blue moose flavor laboratory. Here we go again. Surprised to see the multinational beverage company Blue Moose hold up in such an unassuming office suite. It's all part of our sterling strategy of keeping our flavor experiments in a controlled environment. More of a controlling environment, if you ask me. That is precisely the approach for far-flung flavor flexations such as these. Though my monthly sojourn out here grows more and more tedious every time you come up with a new flavor idea, Marga. If you want to stop compromising my ideas in the lab, Xavier, go back to Midtown and stay there. I wouldn't dare! This quaint room maintains a high value to the company because of me, myself, and I. I disagree, but they pay me too much to really care one way or the other. Uh, door's always open for you, Xavier. Our current market-ready flavors are tweaked to perfection every time on time and with considerable panache. Well, a slice of whatever you're serving will certainly wash down that last misfire. What a deeply dreadful draft, drought of anti-deliciousness that was, Marga. Well, we make mistakes and learn from them, eh? It's one thing to make 20 mistakes, Marga, but another entirely if it's the same mistake 20 times. We already have 12 perfectly tested flavors and our market share grows exponentially with each one. What about the 50 year plan, Xavier? Our boss plans generations into the future. Tastes will evolve and we need to ride the curve wherever it takes us. And yet I can't help but wonder if this curve turns out to be more of a plateau. Meanwhile, you're having a terribly good time mixing fish sauce and watermelon extract. I hope that's not what they're drinking. That was a good prototype, Xavier. Dietrich loved it. Dietrich Mata is our visionary pioneering world conquering CEO. Somehow Murga has impressed him yet again, utterly baffling. It's simple, I've got ideas and Dietrich has bigger ideas. All you have is doubts, Xavier. If Dietrich were to roll this place up, I'd break out the caviar. Look, last month we had on that lemon lobster zest flavour, it's testing well. It's a superfluous novelty and everyone at HQ was holding their noses during the tasting. It'll get approved by the FDA in two years, hit the market in three, give us another 2% share just in time for your yearly bonus. 
You can tell your friends you met the team responsible for the next Blue Moose flavor. I'm not retiring until we revisit that apple smoked wood chip marshmallow flat soda experiment from last month. They sent it back to us again. I had to suffer the indignity of pouring out cans in the street in my half day. I'll admit, I don't think people are ready for intentionally flat soda yet. If it weren't for me, you'd be back in your apartment with your homebrew kit in the bathtub. Well, that's how Dietrich Matta did it. Don't underestimate the homebrew home kit. Anyway, it's the weekend. We have to figure out this new flavour today. Are you referring to the cinnamon bacon with cocoa and actual bits of garlic syrup? Quality takes time. Mineral-based mouthwash. I can't see what he's saying behind that. Right, okay, anyway, here's your pizza. Yeah, there's the pizza with the toppings. <laughs> Unfortunately, those are worms. Not gummy worms, but still. Finally, some real food in this joint. After a month spent dining out in four-star restaurants every night, my tongue longs for variety. Let's see. Yeah, you just had to click on the other toppings. I don't know why I didn't work that out. That's more sauce than I've had on my past five pizza con pizzas combined. Clearly, Keitano has taught you something. It's a real pepperoni appreciation party in Sweet Four this morning. So much pepperoni, I'm feeling faint. Yeah, they're, they're gummy worms, but yeah. The cheese on this pizza is immaculately placed, is it? It's not melted very well, though, is it? Did you go take the same online culinary course as I did? This looks like the work of a trained master cheese melter. <laughs> a master cheese melter. Ah, truth peppers. I love truth peppers, Xavier, even if there are only a few on this pizza. But you wanted more? Once we get over that pepper heat, you can tell me what you really think about everything. I already do, Murga. That's why we still work together. I'm talking about subconscious thoughts, stuff you don't even know is true. Look, Murga, I already visit a shrink by the park. No more digging for more truth. Real raw and honest, Xavier. I'll eat around them. Look at that there gummy worm. A distinct flavour texture experiment, I reckon. I don't know what he said, sorry. Well, Super Nuts, I think a tip's in order. Give me like $500. Hold on, Blue Moose enforces a no tipping policy. Does it also enforce a no fucking paying policy, mate? Pay for your fucking pizza. Our books are perfect, are balanced perfectly after all. He's a prick. Oh, please, Xavier, I was a waitress once. I got $45 for that pizza. As a tip. That is a terribly generous tip, Murga, for a very intriguing pizza. You used to earn way more as a maitre d', Xavier. Enough! Past chapters of my life shall remain in the past, Murga. Ah, oh, Xavier, just count your money and be served. Let's eat. Oh, pizza, I surrender to you. Now we have to wait. They go down a pizza black hole into the, into space and... Uh, where do they end up be going? She's fallen asleep with a can of blue moose in her hand. Oh, what's this? Um, Murga, last night 104B actually told me she loves me and 104A held my hand for seven minutes uninterrupted. Less cheese, more of your cam cava berry blend next time. Stabilization. Mushroom shortens someone's lifespan considerably. Order a new unit again, learning something new with every new pizza flavour combination, Kitano. Okay, so that's a menu from there. Oh, hello, what's this? Aged Shoji film. Let's have a look and see what kind of pictures that takes. Kind of like... reddish. Okay, that's interesting. There's a skull in there. There's a bubbly thing, I don't know what that is. Open that tape reels. Is there anything interesting in here? What the fuck is this? The hell's that? Is that that person from Doctor Who? With the stretched face. There's a- oh! Two Murga from Kitano. Okay. Three dice. Three, three, three. I wonder if that's important. Probably not. Where did the other guy go? Are you taking a swim, my? Can't talk to him. Oh, what's down here? Wait, no, is this? Did 
That's what's inside these vats. He's swimming inside a vat with some sort of giant deer skulls in it. 1090, is that important? Or 1040? Oh, what's this? What are you two doing here? I think just passing the time, waiting for... Uh... Did you know there's a dangerous chemical laboratory in this building? I had no idea, sir. None whatsoever. This, this is too quick to read out, so I'll just uh, leave it on the screen. It's pretty big. Take, take note of your keen sense of smell back to the factory. And whoever's delivering pizzas here, I'll, deli I'll deal with them later. Hold on, do you know who my mother is? Assembly Speaker Joe Troy in City Hall. She finds out anything's happened to me out here. You're Joe Troy's kid, eh? I see her on TV all the time. One of the regular talking heads and up for re-election too. We could certainly use her attention, right boys? A mess. The factory awaits vagrants. The factory doesn't await vagrants. The factory awaits vagrants. So what's down here? So I guess we probably didn't want to go out that way, pretty much. Oh, we're down by the canal. The saxophone, yeah, fuck off. I'll get you the saxophone when I'm good and ready. Yeah, pricks. <laughs> They're still floating around looking for... How did they even get down here? How did they even get down that road? Okay, so we had to exit that way, because otherwise we would have... Uh, had another problem. I guess we're looking for another pizza order then. Oh wait, can we buy any more stuff? From either the sale on the street or the other place. I could do with picking up that nose. Actually, yeah, let's get the nose from the pawn shop if we can afford it. Because that'll then possibly open up that other place inside the pizza place. The pizzeria. With its very strange toppings. Very strange toppings. <laughs> Can't go any faster than this. I wish there was a kind of faster walking ability, but never mind. So we can buy a variety of stuff. I want this nose. Anything else we can buy? A uh, bull skull horn handle? No, I can't afford that. Wait a minute, what is that I can afford? Can I afford that? No, I can't. Okay. I don't think I can afford anything else in here, can I? Not right now. Okay. We'll try the guy with his little uh, sail in the street as well. See if he's got anything. What the hell? If he's got anything interesting to sell, I just walked into a lamppost. For rent. Looks empty to me. So these police type guys are. It looks like trying to. I don't know. Stop me from delivering pizza, maybe. And we'll go and speak to the guy down by number 35. Just see what he's got for sale that we can have. Can't afford that. Wait, you've got nothing left, apart from this, the eyeball of the space, $315. I think we might wait for that, because <laughs> I've got a feeling we're probably gonna not, not going to need it anytime soon. Right, so, this nose, can I like immediately put it on here, or do I have to... Or is there something else I have to do? Because I feel like there's some kind of force field around that, to be honest. Yeah, it looks like I can't do it just yet. It looks like somehow I need to turn this off. I'm not sure how. I feel like there's something with these lions. Maybe there's something we can stick on those lions' faces? Maybe eyes? Maybe we need to put eyes on those lions. Oh wait, there's a button there. What does that do? Oh look, there's a button on each one. No, there's not. Oh wait. The moon button. Of course. And that then opens this. Oh, hello. What have we here? There's something in this cupboard. Grey matter? You know, I don't want to put people's brains inside the pizzas. Anti-Nautilus film. Let's take a wee picture with it and see what it does. Okay, it's kind of... Right, okay, well that's interesting. Get out of that. Okay. 
Uh, we've got a letter there. Katana, well, I'm pleased to hear that our latest testing flavour had such a promising effect on 104B. I don't have as much leeway to keep sending you cases. Management's finally starting to tighten the screws on me. Uh, also, you say 104A model's been screaming during the last few tests. Not my fault. Stop blaming my ratios. Put the same amount of uh, 4E turmeric in extract in every time. Yeah, okay. Brain sonatas. Ah, look. I can go in there now. That looked like a Pokeball inside there, was it? Alright, time for a nose. I'm just being a bit nosy. Does that open the door? Yes. What the hell? Are they robots? The eyeball of the space lion. We've got one. We opened the door there. Hello? Are you real people? No? the hell? This is like his... Oh my god. He's created like... What in the hell? Basically, well, first of all, there's a massive cir window circling the place with giant cows outside it. But also, it looks like he's replaced his family with weird robots powered by energy drinks. That's broken. I really would like to know what's going on here. Saxophone. I can't get to the saxophone that way. Okay. Pizza. Our agreement to resupply with legacy models 104B and 104C is all the replacement parts must be terminated effective immediately. The reason for this termination is as follows. All payments for refabrication were made by the Norwood estate and our arrangement with you was dependent on the estate's continued solvency. When the payments stopped coming last fall, we learned the Norwood estate, including its hotel and archives, I'm not sure I do either, um, had recently been acquired by a business entity known as the Modulo. We contacted representatives from the Norwood estate and the Modulo inquiring about their continuing and ongoing financial relationship. We haven't heard back. Uh, know that we still consider your early test results invaluable and they'll always serve as the foundation for our, our most cutting edge models. Sounds like he's... They've created robots for him of his family members to see if they... to test them. Should you be able to afford our services through other means and then he's been using energy drinks to fuel it? I don't know. They come with a greater durability and a wider baseline array of emotional states than 104B and C, but these states can no longer be modified for food or drink of any sort. Right, okay, so the... The kind of... Oh, $120. It's a brain with a shell on top of it. Why the fuck are there arms in here? Leg... Uh, feet. And whatever that is. Rope. Okay, that opens that door. I really don't understand. Um... Is this door still locked? I had to find a key for that at some point. So we need to get another eye of the space lion. I wonder, does that mean we need to get that other space lion thing to get it? Should I be waiting until I've got that? What do we need to do to get his um, saxophone anyway? I wonder. Because we can't get it yet. We need to open this somehow. It's probably something to do with... Oh, wait. What would go in there? Another... No, not that. That will go... Oh, yeah, one of the two lion heads at the... Uh, at the top of the stairs. I guess. I mean, I don't, I don't know, but... I expect they're not too different. I expect that one or the other is fine. Why he's got a big screen in there with that? I do not know. Right, pop on. So that'll open that door there, clearly. Oh, wait. That was enough to open the door? No, it wasn't. It's enough to open it a little bit. But we need the other one to open it all the way. Okay. So, I don't know if that means we have to buy the other one so that we can get that door open. Guess we'll find out, right? Pizzas. Any new orders in? Pending health inspection. Um, awareness born from mistakes. What? Doesn't tell me what he wants on it, just awareness born from mistakes. Okay, well, we'll need to work out what it is. 
There we go. Uh, no, I don't want... Right, where's the sauce? It looks like I've, I've been putting on way too much sauce, so... Awareness born from mistakes. That'll do. Cheese. There we go. What else? A bit of basil on there. Like whole basil leaves. <laughs> I'm not sure that's entirely correct. I don't know if he wants pepperoni, but he's going to get some. I don't, not so far. None of the orders seem to have been wrong, so... Pop a couple of mushrooms on there. Maybe not some chocolate and a little bit of flamingo meat. That does not look cooked. I'll be honest, but we are about to cook it, to be fair. <laughs> and maybe a couple of truth peppers. We could still get it wrong. I mean, I would assume it's still possible. Synthetic grey matter. No. Although, awareness born from mistakes. Maybe we could put some brain, some brain matter inside this thing and it'd be... I don't know. Seems a bit much to me. Hopefully he likes the flamingo. <laughs> I've only done two orders so far though, so... I won't have to just kind of guess what it is they want based on what they say, but... Looks, um... Cooked. It doesn't look really cooked at all, to be quite honest. The sauce is just lumps. I like that mechanism, that's cool. I like that it, like, does it all for me. <laughs> no, probably not a good idea. This pizza does not look well cooked at all. Uh, where's this going? Um, 26 Yam Street, okay. We get some sweet potatoes for the, uh, for the pizzas. 26 is there. So I guess these buildings all open up, um, when we have to order, when we have to deliver a pizza to them. Don't know what house number it is though. Don't think it said. Gary on photography. Oh, it's this guy, isn't it? Yeah, it's this guy. Appointment. Oh yeah, it's pizza time again. Garion starts getting his pizza cravings around this time every day. I've been hearing his howls for pizza through the door, which I just unlocked for you, by the way. Anyway, I'm Mildred, Garion's fourth assistant. The other two saved up enough money to move out of this town for good. The last assistant got fired. I think it's because he wanted to scope out the second floor. Garion's darkroom, big mistake. Garion's been working out of his home studio for forever, I think. For me, it's just a gig with some benefits. We had an exotic animal shoot just last week. I had to keep that under the radar, as you can imagine, but I did get to pose with a ruby ostrich. Is, is that right? I live in building nine. Not by choice, my... Oops. My auntie's been there for over 50 years. Long before any of this happened. Any of what, all, all this stuff in the city, I. I'm taking care of her now, and if it wasn't for her, I'd lose it. Building nine's not a place you want to be. Human Resource Horizons rents out most of the rooms and the noises I hear. Anyway, Garion's probably waiting for you in the other room. Always on time with his pizza cravings, that Garion. Is he? Alright, okay. Which room's that? This one? No. What is that? Just gonna open your fridge if that's alright. Nice frozen, uh, nice frozen mousse there. And a lot of cheese. Okay. <laughs> he likes his cheese. Maybe we should have put more cheese on the pizza. Alright guys. Who's this? Ah, you finally arrived with my pizza. Photo sessions like these always run long, so I embrace a serious pizza nourishment. It's a strange way of speaking. I've been taking pictures of people in this neighborhood for over 40 years, Supernautas. They let me blow up their visages full detail. I capture who they really are. At one point, galleries were interested in me. I got to travel the world a bit. But no galleries in delivery distance from Keitano's Slice. 
So now I just stick to the private commissions. Weddings, corporate seminars, family portraits, food spreads, fashion shows, crime scenes, the works. My problem is that my camera captures more than the subject intends. Their eyes betray their posture and I'm documenting their unspoken emotions. Even a routine passport photo can reveal some repressed catharsis. Many of my clients don't want this, so I hide the negatives. And who doesn't love a lost photograph, eh, Supernosis? Sure, yeah, okay. Business is slow right now, natural cal calamities are wearing us down, and here they said calamites. But I got called to do a session for Joe Troy, the assemblywoman. She's coming for a sitting tomorrow for her next political campaign poster. She says she gets it. She's going to fix all this. She's got the right people behind her. But who's she going to fix all this for? And where to start? That big old factory. She has no idea what they've been doing over there all these years, Supernautas. But I do. And maybe you're starting to, too. Just, here's a pizza for you, mate. I'm going to slip Joe Troy some of my surveillance shots from the other night. She'll know how to deconstruct and recontextualise what's going on. Set it to a rhythm. Bigger fights lie ahead, Supernautas. But in the meantime, pizza for you and me. Well, just for you, mate. I don't want it. I know what I put in it. Pizza, set it down on the table there. Let's see. Time for a much needed pie break pie again. Let's see what Supernautus concocted for us, eh? Mildred, you're going to join in this. We have fresh pizza here ready for you. No response. Typical. She's still the best assistant I ever had, though. We'll get her a slice later. The amount of sauce on this pizza reminds me of a dream I had once. Large, hyper-aggressive tomatoes attacking me in the street. Maybe I shouldn't have put any tomato sauce on there at all. You all right, mate? I couldn't get away, and now this sauce. A few scant helpings of pepperoni, enough to keep me hanging on. But not enough to have set my doctor's recommended sodium intake. Balance and all things supernatus. A spot of mushroom never compromised the pie's quality, Supernotice. Understandably, a bit of vegetables will keep me on task. Low cheese doesn't mean low energy. Like the exposure of light on film, a little goes a long way. Flamingo meat was never meant to be consumed, even in small doses. It's for the wilderness hikers and subterranean spelunkers out on the trails above and below. It'll keep you nourished for the long haul. And this is just the right amount of nourishment for me. Truth peppers are no. Even if I eat just one of these, I'm going to start giving all my secrets away. Very dangerous for someone of my esteem. Basil, even in small amounts, adds a different flavour perspective. I once did a photo shoot amongst gargantuan basil plants. They were the size of humans' paradise. I guess you'd say this pizza is balanced in its own way. But would I take a picture of this pie? Depends on which film I'm using. Here's a little monetary foam off the massive milkshake. It's my business. Forty-five dollars seems to be pretty average. I know it's not your. I know it's not what you're worth, Supernotus. So here's a little something extra straight from my dark room. Gary and film. I'm gonna give it to folks who document truth. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Like they break it down and how they feel about the toppings. It's interesting. Let's see what happens to him afterwards. He'll be standing on his head in the. Uh, Whoever was on there is gone. What's this do? There's, there's that... That button seemed to be for nothing. There must be other buttons we need to press. Holy fuck, what's happened here? How'd you get in there? I need something to get in there. Is there... I hate the pizza. Okay, very good. I thought not those police guys standing outside there. They're going to, like, attack me or something. Oh, wait. Unit 671's jaw? Does that go there? Unit 671, what's that? Does that go in here? Yes, it does. It looks... That looked a lot bigger than... 
you would expect it to be. There's the giant dog, and he's taking a photo of... Is that a guy with three legs? Oh no, he's, car it's, he's carrying one of the feet, because remember, he, he's making those robot things. And uh, there we've got a picture of him talking to her about the Red Bull type stuff. Stop Human Resource Horizons. It's the wee baby guy that's painting that for some reason. There he is again. And these guys, this guy lurking and watching those guys. Okay. Oh, there's a switch. I guess that'll turn everything on downstairs. That opens. Oh, but I can't open it any further than that because that's in the way. Okay. Obviously. <laughs> Makes sense. Is that in there? Camera... Anatone... Anatomies. Okay, I couldn't read that because it looks weird. Camera Anatomies. It's a strange looking book. It looks like it should be bound in human flesh or something. And an angry rabbit. A very angry rabbit. What's this? I'm honoured to learn that you've chosen me as your portrait taker and personal photographer for your upcoming campaign. I haven't done a political job in over 20 years, but don't let that get you, give you pause. My photographic techniques transcend the fleeting trends our moment uh, at a timeless portrait it still makes quite an impact. Besides, given the way the winds are currently blowing, I trust my alignment with you will reap rewards for both of us in the long run. With that in mind, troubling rumours from Katano Slice. Eric Troy's been loitering around the neighbourhood. Mural in her circus, they want to push the envelope and hasten HRH's fall. Not the Queen, by the way. And then there's a that. They're not they're not hastening the Queen's fall, I don't think, but it's all this. So how do you get that open then? That needs to get moved, I guess. How though? Maybe if we do something downstairs now that that button should work. I guess the button should work. Yeah, it should. Shit, they're trying to break in. What's that going to do for me? They're in! Or they're not. What's that all about? I've just opened a portal to some... Oh my god. Why has the assistant got no face? Sorry about that flash. What's with this picture? Hmm. Anyway, we got a big clean-up job back there in Garion's kitchen. I'm leading it. I woolsey, I do. What's having me doing these big slow hauls, big mo? Too many faulty units right now. Ah, but woolsey, you're so good at heavy lifting in six, seven, one. It's class G. You'll be paid accordingly, believe me. It's not about that mo. It's just. Oh, you don't like getting overtime pay? You know, Human Resource Horizons provides the best overtime pay. Well, the page fair, it's just... What? I have an audition on Tuesday for Salambo in Space. Salambo in Space? Now that's a good show, Woolsey. What part are you trying out for? Xarxus, Lord of Mercenaries, Keeper of the Green Flame, Agitator of something. Oh, you'll have to get me a ticket. Really? You don't have any issues with me doing that sort of work? Some stairs there. Been aware of your theatrical pursuits for a while now, Woolsey. I trust you know what you're doing. That's the thing, Mo. This part... It's big. If I get it, it won't be as available as I am now. Hmm, well, given that all our units have been malfunctioning recently... I know. That face! That face! Scheduling. We can't really schedule for when the unit's going to break down, will we? Especially when they turn violent, like 671. The prizes, I think there's a correlation. Pete says, if you're going to do this acting stuff, I need to know now. I haven't won the audition yet. You seem pretty confident and I believe in you. I really do. Just make this your last HRH job. You're going to need a clear head for the addition. Wait, no, I need... Look, I'll haul the old units, whatever you need. Here to serve. Here to serve, huh? Well, there's a major unit recycling shift this Tuesday. What, right when he's, when he's doing his audition? This guy's a prick, man. I anticipate that it'll take all day. I mean, uh... Great, I'll clear your security credentials for it after you've disposed of Unit 671. But Salambo in space, don't worry. I'm sure they'll find a great fit for the role. This guy's a prick. Get rid of this guy. We need to get rid of that guy, somehow. He's let his power go to his head. 
What's all this? Minecarts? Don't really know. I can't open this. Oh, I can. I just have to pull the right door handle. Interesting. We're, we escaped next to the swimming people. I guess we're going back to the pizza pizzeria. How much money do I have? 195. I'm assuming we need to buy that so that we can finish the thing. There's not much else I can do inside the pizza sh shop just now until I can get that. There's a door there. Oh, that person's in. So and the Bloomy's Flavor Barge down the street. She knows why you're here and what you're after. She says her plans are shifting given the situation with Katano. A lot of people want the saxophone, you know. Okay. So they're involved in the whole thing about stealing the saxophone. Well, I can't do it just yet. We did that one. Wait. I must as always consider the source. Did I not do that one? 26 July Avenue. No, I don't think I did. Okay. Must as always consider the source. Consider the source. I think he wants brains on his pizza. Shall we give him some brains on his pizza? Apparently they don't like as much tomato sauce as I expected. Hopefully that's enough. Hope he likes cheese. Just for fun, let's see what happens if I put tons of cheese on it. How about some synthetic grey matter? Maybe some pepperoni too. Pepperoni with your brains. There we go. Uh, a few blue sardines. That's, that's way too many sardines. Maybe some beluga roe. That's way too many toppings, by the way. And a bit of chocolate, just uh, just for good measure. I'm just making the most the most horrendous pizza imaginable. Just to see what happens when he gets it. I think he'd be like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what is this pizza you've made me? I wonder what would happen if you put one, just one blob of every topping on as well. Like, what would happen? What would the person say? <laughs> I have to find out. And then maybe just, like, look at that. That's like, sh like shimmering, like weird. It's very odd. Very odd indeed. Very odd indeed. I got Jeremy's pizza. Jeremy is in, where did I say? Uh, 26 July Avenue. Let's go. I'm sure I thought I'd done this one. No, I hadn't, because it's over there somewhere. 18, 16, so it must be over this way. 18. I wonder what will happen with this, with this, with this pizza. 20, 22... Is this the... Twenty-eight, so 26, so it's him that wants it? Wait. No, Jeremy. 26 July Avenue. 26 July Avenue, how'd I get... Ah, okay. Probably down there. I can't, I still can't afford any of this. Okay. I assume he must be downstairs then, because... Octagon film, let's take a wee picture with it and see what it does. It makes it all kind of... I need to change that shutter speed. Because <laughs> I'm just making strange photographs. Right, there we go. Um, right, I'll give you a minute. I'm going to go and look at what they're doing in a minute. What's this? Oh, that's like that person's thing on their neck. Oh, we need to go and look and see what that is. Who are these people?
do I care to join him for this tactical miniatures game? Our pizza! Go ahead and put that down on the table there. I don't care about your tactical miniatures. It's here! Pizza! Oh yes, it's pizza. Oh yes, it's pizza! Kitano forgot to teach you that a lot of sauce just drowns the pie! This is how Kitano does it, Jer. Yeah, I like it in the Kitano style. Hey, if that's how you want to do it, so we're not as I trust you. Clearly not breaking a pizza rules went into making this pie. A tantalizing amount of pepperoni, Supernautas. Yeah, any more and I'd scarf the whole thing down. <laughs> I'm a vegetarian anyway. Oh shit, sorry. Pepperoni is dangerous, Supernautas. Pepperoni is the crowd pleaser. Well, I don't know what to do now. That's a lot of cheese. We're approaching a calzone territory here. Is that a good thing? Our company cafeterias are some of the best calzones around. Do you think that's a bad thing? You just want to be back at the office. You wish you weren't selling your tribone. trombone, I can tell. Can it, gentlemen? Decent amount of beluga roll on the pizza there as Katano's going upscale now. You have this stuff in the company vending machines. It's becoming more mainstream, less exotic. For some people. Yeah, talk about refined taste. If it's there, I get used to it, you know. Is that a sardine I see on this pizza? I could be a pescatarian for a day. Quite the smell. I see a fish eye. Chocolate chips? A dessert pizza? I know you've seen all the other toppings, right? <laughs> it's both dessert and the main course. Sweet and savoury together at last. A winning duality. A puzzle solved. Is it? Is it though? What's that? Brains? Synthetic grey matter, in fact. Quite nutritious and slightly crunchy. They put in the cafeteria food salads. Helps with the aptitude tests. Sharpens the mind. My company lets us take it for our yearly reassessment tests. What, they let you cheat? That's small doses, but Supernauts put a huge chunk of it on this pizza. Will it grant us troubled thoughts? A strategic edge? Unmatched insight? Probably a headache, to be honest. So how are we handling payment? Uh, you can each tip me $45 each. This one's on me, courtesy of the modulo. The fuck? Two dollars! Here's the modulo, and that's all you're going to pay. Here's a real tip. Five dollars. That's not, that's not a better tip. That's how you do it. Oh, now you're making me feel bad. Here you go. Six dollars. Woo! This entire honorarium from last night's gig. Thanks, guys, for offering me fuck all. Was that your allowance money? It was more than you! Since they're all guilt-tripping me now, here you go. $28. That's what a real paycheck affords. Not cool, Edna, outclassing us like that. It doesn't seem like it, does it? This is compliments of the Substitute Teachers Union. $32. Don't forget who really supports the pizza industry. Yeah, we're going to get the money for this thing in no time. Hey, just because I'm a full-time musician doesn't mean I'm cheap. Is this Can this go on for a lot longer? You want to know what the pizza means to me? $50. Yeah, we've made it no, almost enough money to get that thing. Worth it. Hmm, pizza. He called him an idiot. Oh, hello. I feel something's going to happen to them. It seems like it. You can just do whatever. Uh, it was their tactical, tactical miniatures battle. Unfortunately, they've all been turned into miniatures. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So he's got like a downstairs place where you can play miniatures. Can't talk to him. What is that? What are you doing with that picture of a cow? Why are there bananas in your briefcase? I have so many questions. I, I, I need to go and look at... Oh, fuck, they're here again. Got bad news for you. Supernotus, is it? Well, your new boss, Katana, is taking a permanent vacation. Yeah, so like... What? 105? 105? No, 110. Plus 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 123 dollars? That's a hell of a tip <laughs> for a pizza. I'm just sure Katana's gone for good. That's the thing, I'm not sure I still have questions. Don't let questions go unanswered. I get it, Big Mo. I can't remember the accents I did for these people anymore. Some of these items in the shop may help me answer my questions. So buy them. It's not bad at all. <laughs> Bet Super Notice might want to buy some stuff. I will. This stuff's worth a lot more than you're spending on it. Anything you buy will be useful both to you and to me. I always treat new people to the, na to the neighbourhood this way. Only people I like. And you're deep in this. I just got employed by the guy, maybe not deep enough. See what you got yourself into. Yeah, 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 I understand. 
And yet I still can't afford a jade trout, a bull skull horn handle. Can't buy that. Edna's trombone, Jackie's viol de gamba, or Norwood's last rehearsal tapes. Look at that massive dice. What are you looking for? What else for? What else for? Five! <laughs> right, get out, of my fuck get out of my fucking way, you prick. Okay, so I can't get out the main door. Is there another way out? Is there another way out of here? Out the back door. Can't open that. Oh, there's a button. Try Blue, red, red, white, blue? Blue, red, red, white, blue? Wait, and also what? Wait, let's see. Oh yeah, oh, that's easy enough. There we go. What did that button do that we pressed? Oh, that's open, but what did that button do? Because that didn't seem to have much to do with that, did it? I wonder what that button did. There's like a jigsaw on the wall behind him. That is next to that, mind you. Giant pretzels. Looks like that's all it's for. Now you guys carry on arguing. Maybe, yeah, maybe it turned it on, possibly, I suppose. Yeah. The f There's a giant policeman outside. He's not watching me or anything, but... Big blue skull. Very nice. And we're just straight outside. Okay, out the back door. Do, do, do. Run out my back door. No. There's another one done. There was a thing about health inspection. I'm hoping that's not happening now. The hell? It's an aquarium. There's a, there's a couple of blue whales in there. I don't know how they fit inside such a small room. There's the dog again. We still don't have enough to buy that thing. I think it was 320 to buy that lion thing. That I guess we need to open that door inside the pizza place. So one more pizza should do it. Wait. Oh, I can buy it. Sweet. I love the eye of the space lion. The eye of the space lion. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. What's this? Guitar lessons with Remy. Right, okay. Oh, look, they're back. Katana's missing. Uh, it's about their money. I don't care about your money. Maybe we'll pay you at some point. I'm busy with this job right now. Let's go see what's going on. There's that weird room again. Let's go see what this is all about. Another space lion eye right there. Does that open all the way now? Okay, TV. $500. There's him with his family. White, blue, white, red. That's that, those symbols again. A lot of books. A bath full of uh, energy drink. More cows. Please stay out. No. Oh. What's this? This is Norwood arguing with Kitano about something and that's his family. Oh, that's Norwood talking to him about coming and playing music and he's telling it and he's blowing off his family to play music. I guess. And then there's he's given up Oh he's given him the mortgage deed for the high, for the pizzeria. Oh we're, we're here. We're back behind these people. That's all great, but it still doesn't let me, uh... Still doesn't let me get the saxophone. wonder how I get the saxophone. Hey guys, look, there's a door behind you, a secret door. Don't know if you noticed. Just see, maybe there's something different downstairs. Probably not, but we'll have a look. I wonder what that door is. Still can't open it. There's obviously something else, there's something else we have to put there. I wonder what it could be. Another one of them, maybe? 
Not entirely sure. Possibly another one of those. Hmm. 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 Nope. One sec. One sec. Yeah. Right, let's see what we have to do. Is there another pizza here or something? Typical. Did you get it back in okay? Yeah. Yeah. Two pending health inspections. And orthodox tendencies. What could that mean? I mean, pretty much all of our pizza uh, recipes have been done following quite an orthodox... Tendencies. Oh, I've just put chocolate all over it. Let's put chocolate all over it. It's very small bits of chocolate, isn't it? Right, come on then. Right, apparently nobody likes a lot of tomato sauce on these pizzas. Oh, I was going to do one with one of every, just one of every topping. Hopefully that's enough for them then. Cheese will do. Pop it in the wee gaps. That's a lot of cheese. As you say, I don't think it matters what you do. They'll just say different things, I suppose. A bit of basil. I feel like that's nothing on that pizza. That's gonna be like a really bad pizza. Six of those, we'll put some mushrooms on it. We'll just put everything on it this time. The works, we we'll put chocolate on already. It's a bit weird putting flamingo meat on a pizza, to be fair. Some fish, some wee fishes, some brain, some truth peppers. This is just a big stack of stuff that looks like it's all gonna fall off. And some worm gummies. That seems like way too much for that pizza. Or maybe not enough, I don't know. <laughs> maybe not enough. Maybe it's not enough. Everything I saw about this game said it would take about an hour and a half to play through and I've been playing a lot longer than that so far. <laughs> it's quite enjoyable though in a strange sort of way. Just to see what kind of strange ideas they've come up with. The worms, like, wobble around. It's weird. I wonder what would happen if I just pressed the green button with no toppings on it at all. <laughs> building Nine's pizza. Oh, Building Nine. I was told about Building Nine. That's bad. We don't want to go in Building Nine. Is that for the whole of Building Nine? I think Building Nine's that one there, surely, with the Nine on it. I imagine. Except, oh yeah, look, it's open. Did I just dump the pizza on there? And that's it. Is the building gonna talk to me now? No, we don't get a conversation about that pizza. Building nine is fed. <laughs> We're just feeding a building. 
And how much money did it give me? Forty dollars. Where did you get money from, anyway? It's happy though, look. A happy building. It said people lived in there. That just seems like a building that likes to eat people. How much money did we have? 543. Is there anything else we can buy in the pawn shop before they steal everything? I mean, I guess we probably have to buy everything at some point and it becomes useful for some reason, but... The thing I want to find would be like a... I don't know. I think this, this building will have to get fed at some point as well. Alright, we can afford... we can't afford that. We can afford the bull skull horn handle. I'm not sure what I need that for yet. Can't afford any of these things, so yeah. I would assume you want to buy them in the order they appear, but it's difficult to be sure. Was that van there before? Yeah, no, it was. Can I just walk off the edge? No. More pizzas. Do we have to deliver one to every building at some point, or are we okay? Let's see. Oh, what's this? Wait, that's her dad! You! You know Supernotus dad? Oh, Maxine. So I think it's time to call in one of, our, one of your pizza orders to my office. Don't listen to him. Maxine, your priorities are studies, not those flights of fancy with pizza makers and wannabe musicians. Remember who you are. This again, I'm counting on you. We're counting on you. Gotta get your priorities straight. Straight how I'm interested in a lot of things. Okay, pizza. They're not whims, they're things people do. And I'm learning something interesting for once. I'm under a lot of pressure right now. Are you prepared? And that's what you always say, Dad. Prepared for what, anyway? You have the class tomorrow on emotional brainwave response statistics. Please, I memorized that entire textbook. Brains. Let's start that again, Dad. What happened to the girl I used to take to Katano's... What happened to Katano? Yeah, what did they do to the pizza guy? Decided for tomorrow's class. I memorized that entire textbook. It's all coming together, which goes way beyond pizza. Get to the truth upstairs. Well, I got to the truth upstairs. Didn't I? Was there someone else upstairs that we couldn't do? Excuse me. Was there any orders there before I do that? Okay, just pending health inspection. So we have to get to the bottom of what's going on upstairs. Well, I know what's going on upstairs. Did I not open this door before? <laughs> Sorry, that's another one. Was that not was that door not open before? Why is that shut again? Why is that? Why is everything closed? Thank you. <laughs> the only thing that's open is this. I can't even... Oh wait, I didn't see this door before. It doesn't matter because I can't open it. Oh, I didn't look in these drawers, I don't think. Necklace. Jan and Kai. K, Kai, I don't know. Clarice. Return to sender. So they didn't want... His daughter didn't want anything to do with him. This would explain why maybe he decided he wanted a robot of, of his... family members. But why can't he get back into these, these other areas? Why did that suddenly get blocked off? And that. So I can't get to the bottom of anything up here if... Uh, there's the thing for the bloody... There's what we need to get the saxophone. What's, what did I get? The bullhorn. Is that anything? I have absolutely no idea. At this stage I'm kind of like... Uh... Oh there, look. There.
What does that do? Did that open this? What did that do? Did that open something else? Did it open that? No. What what exactly was the point of pulling down that horn? The antler. Oh wait. Ah, a secret. <laughs> More smashed up containers. This is the sanctum. All right, certified copy record of death. Okay, so there we go. His family member, his his wife died, and his daughter went away. No obituary. Right. That needs another horn, look. Well, he was ill with a saxophone. He came along and offered her something. She didn't want it. What the fuck? Sorry, just one sec. And to find out what's going on with this one. There's that. Wait. How would I get out of here? Ah, look. There's like a wee fireman's pole. Very nice. Now we're in the basement, but we need to... Oh, wait. No, we don't. Can we get the saxophone? Is this the end? Is this the end? We get the saxophone and we leave. Maybe. That's a blurry photograph. We got the saxophone. What's going to happen now? The sax is yours. What happens now? Do we get locked in? What the fuck? What the hell are you doing? No, no, no. I don't want a photograph taken, thanks. I can't. What about the sax? Can I do something with the saxophone? Hello? What's happening? Ah, look. That's a secret passageway again. Okay, we're off. We're going downstairs, but it looks like we're going upstairs. Because <laughs> of the angle of it. Tales from Off Peak City. Is this the end of the game? I feel like there was a lot of unexplained stuff still to be found out about, no? The depot. Oh, there's some more stuff the other way. Guess let's go down this way and see what it's all about. Oh yeah, we're at the end. Game by Cosmo D. That's they made made some strange games. The music's always really good in these games, though. You want the saxophone? You got the sax, as I knew you would. There you go. There it is, and my pop spears witness. It's weird that I can't see him from there, eh? You know, we've been trying to get that thing for years. Finally. HRH's inner sanctum only opens based on tones played on the saxophone. You'll find out in due time what I mean. Do you want it then, I? Oh, oh, get on the train. Okay. Get on the train! It's very bright light. Very bright light. An interesting game. <laughs> A very interesting game. But there we go, that's it. So, there are, I think there are further sort of chapters of that to be, to be produced gradually over time. But it's one of sort of three games from that developer. It's, oh, it's not bad, I quite like it. It is strange, I'll admit. 